song! Guys, I'm Jay. One further cyberners. So I'm Mr. Blitz Tech. And we are back with episode, excuse me, chapter six of the Malan the Mandalorian spin-off, The Book of Boba. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like the Mandalorian season 2.5. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel in a road to 200,000 subscribers, hit the thumbs up because we know you love the content and press the notification bell so you get notified every time we drop a panel. Yes, look, Geek Sensei is in Mexico. And you know what? He's missing out. Because <laughs> <laughs> this episode is a madness. And I know you might be watching it and drinking tequila, but nah, 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 nah. The energy and electricity that was flowing through this room is unmatched. Do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, there's bare stuff to talk about this episode, but I'm starting at the end. Okay. I have to start at the end. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Mm. The Return of Cad Bane. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, if you don't know already, Cad Bane, for me, is the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. Mm. I've said this for time, innit? Like, when Boba Fett was getting all these props, I was like, nah, let's look at Cad Bane's rap sheet. And Cad Bane shows up to be the villain of the season who the Pikes have hired. Do you remember? It was a few episodes ago, yeah, when I was like, I can't wait to see who they're going to be fighting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's like, you can't just fight the Pikes. Yeah. And, the, and these men have got Cad Bane on payroll. I'm with it, bruv. I'm so, like, I'm so... And after how they treated man in, in the Bad Batch here, which was disgraceful, they had him get beat by Fennec Sham, Sham, like... And I'm not saying, like, she's good. She's not Boba, she's not Boba Fett. She's not Mando level. Mm. She's not Cad Bane level. That was my big grievance with... Well, one of my grievances with Bad Batch the show. Mm. But... From man's intro here, fam, they've got to treat man correctly, fam. Yeah. They've got to treat man correctly, fam. Like, and one of them, he's got to either kill Boba Fett mm -hmm. or he's got to kill uh, Shan. I want Shan to be out. Yeah. But I think Boba Fett's going to get replaced by Omega, isn't it, at some point? <laughs> Omega's going to get... Bruv, Omega's coming into this in a big way. Whether it's now, whether it's in... the Maybe Omega's gonna run the whole of Mandalore. I don't know. But she has to be man, isn't it? The <laughs> not if, if he, he dies. Boba, yeah, if he not if he Boba. dies. Because if he kills Boba she and then he became, he then gets the light, the, the saber, yeah. even though he doesn't want it, yeah. then B Bane's open to be murdered mm. or killed, and then we can have a rightful owner, bro. Because in fact, wait, no, that's not even gonna happen because D Jin Gargan's Dude, yeah. got the so He's not losing that. He's not losing that. So hey, we're getting confused. I want Cad Bane to kill Boba Fett or, or, or Sham. Yeah, for me, it has to be Fennec. She's Fennec's obviously like, go. yeah, Fennec's got to go. Just after what happened in the Bad Batch, like, man got beat. He's like, all right, cool. I took that L then. Man comes back stronger, knows what to do. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like if Omega's going to show up, then this will be the rightful time for her to replace Fennec. To replace Fennec? Yeah. And then obviously, the Have brother, that sister, brother sister yeah. relationship. She's older, man's running things. She's the one that's out there. Oh, hey, Sammy, that's that's spicy, it does make a, it does make a lot of sense. But I would think that with Boba Fett being older, you'd probably replace him. Mm. And if you got rid of both of them, Boba and Fennec, mm -hmm. you can replace them with a Sabine. Mm. You can replace them with an Omega. Mm. Like you just like it's it's kind of like you like Disney could say, oh, we respected the old by having Boba Fett take over his old place. But then obviously he passes on it to his sister who now is going to run it, who's going to be younger than him and is the Omega of the cloning system. Mm. So I feel like, but I feel like both of our things are good. I would like to see Bo Boba Fett and Omega working together, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't mind seeing Omega, well, it depends how they do it. Omega running the thing as well, but Phoenix got to go and, yeah. and Bane's got to do it. Yeah, I love it, bruv. Um, what else is there? Listen, I know everyone's probably like, why are you not talking about Luke? Luke is dead, bro. Listen, <laughs> you, man, look. Luke's running this episode. Yeah, like, I don't really care for any of the Luke, bro. From the beginning of the episode, I was like, oh, we're going to see Grogu. And I like that, mm. that we got to see Grogu. The whole decision that um, Mando had to pick between seeing him and, and rebuilding that attachment and kind of forcing the issue. I like that he left because of where it leaves 
Grogu at the end, where mm. Grogu's got to make a decision. Mm. Mando came, he felt Mando's force. Mando left man a gift, like pretty much offering man, yo, be a Mandalorian. Luke's offering man a gift, yo, be a Jedi. I'm team Mando, mm. 100% in this situation, bruv. The Jedi are dumb, and even Luke giving man this, this yeah. decision highlights why the Jedi are dumb, bruv, mm. and why these men are finished, bruv. Mm-hmm. Get me? Because it's like, you, bruv, you man have got to grow. you got to learn from your old ways, fam. Like, why can't he have Mandalorian bro. armor and a lightsaber, yeah. fam? That's for me. My decision is to just be both. He both. is both. That's, That's the t- He is both. That's what I'm saying. You get me? Like, he's already been taught in the school and he's already become a creed through Mandalore. Yeah. So then you being his teacher, then it can't be like, you got to make a decision, be one or the other, because one is like this and one's like the other. Why can't he be in solitude, but then be or have attachments you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a way forward. Especially that, I don't know, like, the Je- are the Jedi's kind of progressive in that kind of way? See, the thing is, they're not. And this is why they've been getting finished, bro. Is that the same thing with Mandalore as well, then? Yes, yeah. I mean, I, I guess so. That's what I'm saying. I guess so, then. So you, uh, then, got to be the person going forward to join the man again because the first person who had the dark saber was he both. was a Jedi, a Mandalorian Jedi. That's sick. That's legit. But at the same time, when you look at Luke and we know where Luke ends up on Oc 2 mm-hmm. in a little cave, bruv, we already understand. So what I think they're setting up beautifully here mm. is Grogu to leave mm-hmm. and then Luke to then go and find a Ben Solo mm-hmm. and a Ben Solo to be the first student and Ben Solo to destroy this mm. and then we go into the uh, into episode 7, 8 and 9, which I think is a beautiful story mm. to be like, he tried to train someone who reminds him of his master, mm. doesn't get that and gets to train someone who reminds him more of his dad mm-hmm. or do you have the kind of power that his dad had and then that just spirals downhill mm. and like we can just, I thought for me personally, this descent of Luke has already started. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so I just, I'm not interested in that. I want the Mandalorian thing. I want Grogu to go Team Mando. And I want that to be over there, fam. Get me. It was good to see Ahsoka in this episode. But I do think that Ahsoka and Luke dynamic is weird to me. Yeah. Because he's Master Luke. But she's definitely a higher rank than him. Mm-hmm. And she's asking him for advice. He's asking her for advice. And he's she's telling him, like, yo, uh, you're all right. Get, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's weird because they try to position Luke in the episode as the highest power, mm-hmm. but then man is seeking Ahsoka for guidance, which is the way it should be. But at the same time, it's like it kind of threw his whole power dynamic off, mm. and then he comes out with some weird ultimatum at the yeah. end. Like, <laughs> Luke, like I just ain't got time for Luke, bro. I know lots of people are probably gonna be super loving this episode. Oh, mm. Luke's back! I have got to see a training montage of Luke, but I just nah 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 nah. I'm um, team. Bro, he's even wearing all black. He's just he's just <laughs> he's a Sith wannabe. He he wants to be yeah. Team Dark Side. He wants to be Team For me, Dark Side. This yeah, yeah. most of the the Luke stuff was kind of filler. Like it, like I understand that it was the part where we saw that Grog has been training with Luke and then gets him how he got the armor to then make the decision. But most of it could have been cut out. And I feel like has he? Oh, it's, sorry to cut. Has he only learning all this stuff in one day? Luke's had him for months. And then it's just, that's the day you just start, like, in this day, he starts running, jumping. <laughs> nah, I, it was a bit forced for me. Yeah. Like, if they came and Grogu already had the powers, I would have been like, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah. And the emotional connection is still there mm. just to see that, oh, look, oh, Grogu, we've been training. You've come so far. Look, there's one line. Mm. You've come so far since I've met you. Yeah. And then Dean Gargan still shows up with the with the armor. We're good, bro. So mm. it's, ah, I don't know. Go on, bro. Bye, yeah, bro. That was a bit mad. Because obviously he's, like, he's saying that he reminded him of something from the school. But yeah, to, for the, the fact that this is the day that man got reminded, <laughs> but everything came back again. Yeah, it was just a bit mad. Like, I feel like the Luke stuff could have been shortened, but we could have got more about the whole sheriff. Like, even I feel like at the the meeting with the sheriff and Mando, I feel like Boba should have been here himself. Mm. I feel like that would have been more impactful. And I wanted to see what the sheriff had to say. I think he's still he's still alive, right? Mm. So see what he's got to say to the town. I feel like Boba just being in that situation himself. Would have been a bit more better than just Mando showing up. I hear that, but I think that's the way they did that because I think if 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 Boba shows if Boba showed up, like because man didn't believe him, it almost like it was like folklore. Huh? Who's this Boba guy you're talking about? If man showed up, because obviously we've he's seen not, Boba he, handle tables, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but he's not really got a relationship with Boba Fett other than he was running around wearing Boba Fett's armor. Yes. Oh, okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, 
you know, Mando got the, uh, the got man. Mando went to retrieve the armor because of Mandalorian culture. Mm. Like, oh, bro, this ain't yours. Let me get that. So they've got their relationship. But like you said, them man are square fam. So I think Free Town are gonna fight because we've got to unite the towns in, in Tatooine. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And Cad Bane not killing the sheriff on purpose w- was on purpose. Just for mm. anyone who's confused, like shot him in the arm. So the message can still get delivered, like, yo, stay out the way. Mm. But made a point of killing the deputy, just so you know, I am not playing games here with you, man. I'm not playing games here with you, man. Bro, I'm giving you an option. Here. He's an idiot, you know. He is, bro, but he's bro, that's why he's a deputy, bro. Like someone bro, he's the guy in who wears the red shirt in, <laughs> in, in Star Trek, bro. Like from yeah. the second we saw him show up and he tried to talk to Mando different, mm. like weird, it was just like, yeah, yeah, bro. Like, he thought he could move to anybody. Because you got a badge. Yeah. Are you dumb? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Cad Bane. Top, bro, Cad Bane's dialogue. Yo, fire, yeah. bro. I love the look of Cad Bane. I don't know how they translated it so well. The eyes are beautiful, fam. Bro, it's seamless. But then it's weird because you've got the defect of Luke, which is sketchy sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which I don't understand. I, because I, I, it's all prosthetics or something. I, we just got to get Luke out of the show. <laughs> Bruv, I said it. When he showed up at the end of season two of Mando, I was like, no, no, mm. no. And we don't need him here, bruv. I know you are trying to set up a Luke series or something. You can have the Luke series. I'm sure everyone will love it. But, like, just get him out of here. Like, let's, his time. Let's, he has, Sam, he has. I'm with you. But I feel like Disney feel like we've got to give them the characters they love so we can transition them into the characters we want to show. Mm. And this is what I think the whole, really, the Mandalorian thing's about. Mm. Passing it from Boba Fett down to Mandalorian. Yoda's gone, so now we've got a replacement Yoda. Okay. We're going to get a replacement Luke or we're going to get Luke. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, in his younger years because he fits the age demographic now. So it's like, if you keep Luke going, it kind of keeps all of the older fans happy. Mm. But all of the younger fans and the newer fans, they're, they're latching on to Mando. They're latching on to Grogu. Mm. Characters that they can grow with for another 30 years, isn't it? So I, I understand it. I don't want it, but I'm with it. Mm. Get me. But it also sets up good stuff for the, uh, the um, Obi-Wan series that's coming because what time frame is that going to be in? True. Who knows? Do you know what mm. I'm saying? Get me. Where's that going to be? The real... You got anything else on this episode? I've just got to say, they have done this from Jump here yeah, where it's called The Book of Boba, but it's just involving or encompassing bare people. Yeah. Because obviously, people are going to start complaining again. Oh, this is Mando 2... or well, 2.5, episode 2. Like, if they've done this from the Jump where they're going over here, then there's Book Boba, then over here, then there's Boba. Like, maybe like that, they would have, like, Condition people's minds, but I hate, bro. people are gonna complain about this. Bro, like, why is this him? Bro, why isn't this man though? For for me, bro, we can't listen to those people. Like, if oh, you're like, cool. listen. Oh, for me, it's fine. I'm like, I, I like this episode. I but love. There's some failure in it, sure, but I love the episode, even with the Luke stuff. Mm. And for people who are like, oh, it's Mando season two, two point five, bro. For me, it's all one show. Yeah, it's all one show. If you're watching Book of Boba, you probably watch both episodes of the Mand- both seasons of the Mandalorian. Mm. There's no need to nitpick. Like, one is... Uh, just enjoy the thing, bro. It's all the same timeline. Mm-hmm. It's all the same story. Mm-hmm. We're following the same characters. Shut your mouth. And when your mouth's <laughs> shut, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we're on a road to 200k. Hit the thumbs up because you know you like the video. And hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we drop a banger. If you haven't already, head over to patreon.com forward slash the Cybernas where you can watch the full episode unchopped and screwed you guys last week got blessed with a chopped and screwed version of episode five but it won't be happening this week head over to patreon.com for slash the cyber nerds and enjoy the full thing there other than that i'm jay one further the cyber nerds we'll see you next time peace